So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own knobs out of shotgun shells. So first of all, you need to get some shotgun shells. I just go down to my local gun range and get them from there for free, but you can get them from Etsy or places like that. So the first thing you will need to do is remove the primer. And I just use a nail punch for this, um, a couple of light taps with a hammer, and you can see it comes out pretty easy. Don't throw that primer away though. You're going to need that later in the build. So yeah, there's the primer. So just put it aside somewhere. The next thing I like to do is to drill out the hole a little bit as well. Um, there's some teeth inside there that hold the primer in place and you actually need to remove those teeth all together. So drilling out will um, help uh, reduce the size of the teeth and I just find it a bit easier. It's not necessary, you can grind them out, but um, I just like to do that as a step. Then after you've done that, you need to remove the uh, cap at the end of the shotgun shell. Pretty easy to remove, use a blowtorch and a pair of pliers, heat it up for about five seconds, give it a wiggle, and you'll find that um, it will start to move, um, and just wiggle it side to side, and the cap will come off. Uh, remove any plastic and gunk inside the cap. So the next thing to do is to remove any of those sharp burrs or um, little teeth inside the cap. Oh, it's a Dremel, you can use a file. Um, the Dremel has got a little uh, grinding stone on it. You can see it does a pretty good job there. You really must ensure that it's completely flat. Um, that's an important step. So then it's on to modifying a potentiometer knob. These are really cheap knobs. You can pick up 10 for a couple of bucks. And what, we, what I'm doing here is just removing uh, some of the bottom section of it. Um, you need to do this so it fits inside the, the shotgun shell casing. You can see it's a bit rough, but don't stress because you can either use a file um, or a sanding, uh, a sander like this one to reduce it and clean it up. Keep filing it or sanding it until uh, it's smooth and it's level. This is a really important step. What, what you need to do here is to attach that potential knob inside the casing. Just add a few dabs of glue to the back of that potentiometer knob and then push it onto the, the casing. It's really important, and I can't stress this enough, to make sure this is centered. So this will ensure that it will stay centered. Leave that to dry, and now it's time to modify the primer cap. It's a pretty straightforward modification. I'm just using a Dremel with a cutting wheel and removing most of the body of the primer. You only need the top section I'm just going to file away here any burrs or any extra bits. I want it as flat as possible. So use a file and just remove any uh, excess material. And once you've done that, you can see it's quite flat. Give it a test fit. Make sure that it fits inside in, on top of the cap like that. And if it does, you can glue it into place. So just put a tiny dab of glue as I've done there and then glue the, uh, the primer cap on top of the um, shotgun shell cap. Leave it to dry for a bit, and then once it's dry, you're ready to move on to the next stage. So to secure that potentiometer knob inside the shotgun shell, you need to add some hot glue. Uh, I did a few different iterations and builds on this, and I found the simplest was the easiest way. And hot glue, once dried, will ensure that potentiometer knob doesn't move at all inside the shotgun shell. So fill it right up as high as you can go. Um, if, it's, if there's some excess over the top, fine. We'll remove that now, which is by sanding um, or filing if you've got a file. But I find sanding is, is the easiest and quickest thing to do. So just sand any excess away um, and, and sand it until uh, the glue is flat with the edge of the shotgun shell case, as you can see that I've done there. So that's it. Now the last thing to do is do a test fit, which I'm doing here. You can see that they turn nice and centered on the um, potentiometer knob. So if you want to build your own uh, of these, you can obviously use this video or there's a step-by-step -step guide uh, to my Instructables page, a link in the description. Happy building, yeah, and uh, have fun.